वेलकम बैक टू अवर एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑफ मटीरियल थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स विद जेट पैक कम्पोज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर डाइविंग इन टू द लिस्ट लिस्ट आर वर्टिकली अरेंज रोज ऑफ टेक्सट एंड इमेज ईच रो रिप्रजेंटिंग अ लिस्ट आइटम दीज आइटम्स कैन कंटेन प्राइमरी एंड सप्लीमेंट एक्शन रिप्रजेंटेड बाई आइकन्स एंड टेक्सट दे आर एसेंशियल इन मोस्ट एप्लीकेशन यूज टू डिस्प्ले डेटा इन एन ऑर्गेनाइज एंड कॉम्प्रिहेंसिबल वे लेट्स जम्प इन एंड सी हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट दिस इन जेट पैक कम्पोज हेयर फर्स्ट लेट्स क्रिएट अ न्यू फाइल so for that here let's create a data class so here i have created this data class of task and now let's create a list of dummy tasks so this is our list of tasks so we will show this list of tasks in a lazy column so here first let's create a lazy column in this lazy column let's take this items so here let's provide the list of tasks with the help of this items parameter and also let's provide this key so it can differentiate between these now we will take this list item composable function which comes with material 3 library so let's delete this part now we need to specify different content so first one we have this headline content here we will provide our name of task through this text composable and another parameter we have this leading content so in this leading content we can place photo avatar or an icon so for the simplicity let's take an icon of our task let's use this icon composable function and another parameter we have this trailing content so this trailing content will place at the end of that row so here we can place an icon or some supporting text so for now let's use an icon let's copy this part and paste it here and let's use this icon so now we can use this list composable function in our main activity and let's run our app and see how this is looking so here we can see with the help of that list item we have placed our task list in a beautiful manner so let's minimize this and let's go back to the file so in this list item what more we can do we also have this parameter called supporting content suppose we have some descriptions also in this task so we can use that description in this supporting content so for that let's add one more value and also let's add description to all these task items so 
so these are our description to these tasks so now let's use this description in this supporting content let's use a text composable and let's use that description so now let's run our app again and see how this is looking so here we can see this supporting content has been placed in the second line and what more we can do in this list item let's press control b and let's also minimize this so here we also have this overline content so this overline content will be displayed above the headline content and we also have this parameter color so we can change the colors of different things like, like let's press control b and here we can change the colors of this container color headline color leading icon color these colors also so this is the documentation of this list item so you can read from here now let's close this and that is it for list items we have covered how we can display list using this list item as well as how we can customize this list item if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below see you in the next one